Welcome. So we're getting close to Halloween, which brings up all kinds of issues because it's 2020. First question, the first thing I saw on a Facebook post is that they want kids or older people with autism and developmental disabilities to carry a blue, carry a blue candy bucket, pumpkin, whatever. I think that's wrong. That's a separatist thing to do. You're trying to say, separate this person out because they have a developmental disability. Instead of being inclusive, and just let them come however they want. I also think that we should change the name of Halloween because the kids come to the door and they say, trick or treat. They don't even have to be kids. They can be teenagers, adults, whatever. People come to the door and say, trick or treat. So that would be extortion. I mean, give me a treat or I'm gonna trick you. I don't like that one as well. What I do like is free candy day. Whoever comes to your door and knocks, give them candy. If you can afford candy, give them candy. But this year we run into a problem. How do we give the candy and maintain social distancing? One of my favorite things I've seen so far is the PVC pipe that's six, 10 feet long, and you just put that candy down there and it slides right down to whoever it is. I like that one. Gives me an excuse to make something that I'll use once a year. Another might be a slingshot. They come in, psh, could be a little dangerous. I like those guns that shoot t-shirts into the crowd the candy bar in there and don't be stingy on your candy I remember there were kids in or places in the neighborhood when I was a kid to go trick-or-treating and they gave that bad candy why I mean it's once a year if you can afford it go to some big box store or some local market or somewhere or and hand out candy now who to give the candy to? When I, actually, let me step back. Wendy and I are probably going to put a bowl out with candy in it. Maybe a sign said, due to COVID, be reasonable, take just a little bit or whatever. Leave some for Brent. I don't know. Something like that. We do have one of those doorbell cameras. So we can still see the kids, which I think is cool. We've also talked about maybe sitting in the garage with masks on and, I don't know, maybe throwing the candy at the kids. I like that one too. But the main point is, don't be selfish when it comes to giving out the candy. If somebody comes along who doesn't say trick or treat, give them the candy anyway. If an adult comes along, give them the candy. If they've been by a second time or third, give them the candy. You know, maybe at some point you say, okay, enough. But let's be generous. Let's be filled with love on this coming extortion day or Halloween or free candy day, whatever you want to call it. Let's be generous. Let's be loving. Let's give from our hearts. Let's not give because of the extortion involved in the holiday. Let's make it out of love. And when somebody comes up with a costume, tell them how much you like it. Appreciate them. Who knows if they'll hear it from any other adult all day, all week, all month. I don't know. Give them a compliment. Say, you look nice. I appreciate the effort you put into this. Thank you for coming. Anything like that. Be nice. Give out the candy. 
It's free candy day, for goodness sake. Okay, that's my rant. I will see you or talk to you on Monday.